Hello everyone, welcome back to Bike Geek. If you're dealing with one of the most frustrating issues in Windows 10 or Windows 11, where your PC stays stuck for a long time on the getting Windows ready, don't turn off your computer screen. Normally this message appears while Windows is installing updates, but sometimes it can also happen when you're turning your computer on, shutting it down or restarting it. So if your system is stuck on this screen and not moving forward, don't worry, I'll show you a few methods of how to fix stuck on getting Windows ready issue. Let's jump right in. Sometimes the getting Windows ready process can take a while, especially after a major Windows update. So the first thing you should do is simply wait a few minutes. Your computer might still be configuring updates or finishing background tasks. If you're using an older PC or laptop, it might need even more time to complete the process. If waiting doesn't help and the screen is still stuck, try performing a hard shutdown. Press and hold the power button for about 5 to 8 seconds until your computer completely turns off. Then, disconnect all peripherals and unplug the power cord for a few minutes. After that, plug everything back in, power on your computer, and check if it starts normally without getting stuck on the Getting Windows Ready screen. If the same message appears again and your PC still won't boot, the next thing to try is a startup repair. To do that, press and hold the power button to turn off your computer or laptop. Then turn it back on and as soon as the Windows logo appears, press the power button again to shut it down. Repeat this process three times in a row. After the third restart, Windows will open into the Advanced Startup environment. Click Advanced Repair Options, then click on Troubleshoot then go to advanced options and here you will see several advanced options. We will select startup repair. Let Windows run the repair process and restart automatically. This should help fix any startup issues causing the problem. If startup repair doesn't fix the problem, the next thing you can try is uninstalling recent updates. You can enter into advanced option from here, just click on advanced option button or boot into the Windows recovery environment just like we did earlier by turning your computer on and off three times in a row. Once you're there, click on Troubleshoot, then go to Advanced Options and choose Uninstall Updates. First, try uninstalling the latest quality update. This often resolves the issue. But if it doesn't, you can also uninstall the latest feature update. Since most of the time this problem is caused by a recent Windows update, removing it should fix the issue in most cases. If uninstalling recent updates doesn't solve the issue, then final method you can performing is System Restore. Again, boot into the Windows recovery environment, go to Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, and select System Restore. Now click Next. If the system found any restore points, it will be listed here. Select a restore point from an earlier date, click Next, and then click Finish. Windows will begin restoring your system settings to that previous state, which should help fix the problem. But if System Restore also doesn't solve the issue, your last option is to reset your PC. To do that, boot into the recovery environment by turning your computer on and off three times. From there, go to Troubleshoot, then select Reset this PC option and select Keep My Files. Then choose Loca Reinstall. This will reinstall Windows while keeping your personal data safe and setting. Hopefully, one of these methods helps you get your system back up and running. If it does, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.